It's May 4th, 2021, and this is Sketchworks News Break. The news stops here. I'm Brian Troxell. Sunday morning, after being in space for six months, the four SpaceX astronauts safely returned to Earth and found Earth just as effed up as when they left. In his not really the State of the Union speech, Joe Biden called the Capitol riot the worst attack on our democracy since the Civil War, beating out the frontrunners Pearl Harbor and 9-11. Osama bin Laden did take home Best Director, though. Kamala Harris then said the greatest threat to our democracy is white supremacists. Although I'm not really sure about that, unless by democracy she means a big gulp of Mountain Dew. On Thursday, Joe and Jill Biden made a special trip to Plains, Georgia, to visit with former President Jimmy Carter and his wife, Rosalind. At 96 years old, Jimmy Carter is old enough to be Biden's grandson. The Bidens also showed off their new ventriloquist skills, learned while other people have been secretly running the country. It's nice to see the Carters are now hobbits. As the Bidens departed the White House, the president handed his wife a weed. The number three Republican in Congress says anyone who thinks the presidential election was stolen is, as she puts it, poisoning our democratic system. Liz Cheney says she also plans to shoot those people with a shotgun. Like father, like daughter. The president received criticism for wearing a face mask outdoors after the CDC announced vaccinated Americans can go sans mask in open air. A White House advisor said Biden wears a face mask outdoors out of habit. Like when he gropes women, it's just out of habit. A New York Times report finds we may never reach the threshold for herd immunity against COVID-19. The virus may instead turn into a manageable threat, like your crazy Uncle Ed who comes to Thanksgiving every year to insist vaccines are a secret government plot to turn us into human Wi-Fi routers. Pass the gravy. A new COVID-19 executive order from Washington, D.C.'s mayor bans dancing at indoor and outdoor wedding receptions. Sounds like the preacher from Footloose found a new job as a D.C. lobbyist. Leaked audio revealed that former Secretary of State John Kerry provided Iran with Israeli military secrets. And now, as climate czar, he's secretly telling climate change about composting. A news anchor in Las Vegas was arrested after falling asleep in her car naked. Although, just like any good journalist, she still found a way to blame Donald Trump. After an eight-month search, TikTok announced they have a new CEO. Britons were aghast this week, aghast I say, when Tony Blair appeared on television for the first time in several weeks, sporting a mullet. The former Prime Minister explained he is the new frontman for the Rolling Stones. The new Doctor Who? Oh well. Good luck finding a bicycle! Sketchworks Newsbreak correspondent Tim Millard explains why bicycles are so hard to buy these days. Remember the days when you couldn't find toilet paper? Not me, because I hoarded this stuff, so I can just throw this roll without a care in the world because I have so many rolls to throw. In fact, watch me throw this roll of toilet paper without a care in the world. <laughs> and now here's something else you can't find because of the pandemic. Bicycles. For some reason, people have decided the pandemic is a perfect time to buy a new bicycle. That means many retailers are out of stock, and it may take months for them to catch up. But not me, though. You see that? I have two bicycles. Most of you don't even have a bicycle, so of course, me owning these two bicycles makes me better than most of you. But do you know what would make all of you better than me? Taking a class with Sketchworks Comedy. We have classes coming up for kids of all ages. For the actual kids, summer sketch comedy camps. For teenagers, sketch comedy intensives. And for adults, we have a great class coming up, Advanced Sketch Comedy Acting. 
It's an eight-week class that culminates with an actual live, in-person performance in front of actual people. Wow! Can't get better than that, can it? Sign up now at sketchworkscomedy.com. Who knows, if you're good enough, you might even get to take my job. For Sketchworks Newsbreak, I'm Tim Allard. Thank you, Tim, for that extremely important report. I hope all of our viewers take it to heart. This would be an excellent time to click the like and subscribe buttons and share Sketchworks comedy with all your friends. Do it. Bill and Melinda Gates are getting a divorce after nearly 30 years of marriage. Hey, Melinda, if the prenup is in your favor and you've always wanted the last name Troxel, call me. Ah, Melinda Troxel. Oh, billionaire Melinda Troxel. Erie County, New York Judge Kenneth Case indicated that convicted rapist and convicted executive producer of Air Bud, Harvey Weinstein, will be sent to Los Angeles in 30 days to face 11 charges of rape and sexual assault. Judge Case stated the only reason he wouldn't be is if the governor intervenes and denies the order. But what governor would do such a... Oh yeah, that one would. In a new book, speech therapist Christina Hunger claims she was able to teach her dog to speak, though she instantly regretted it because now he won't shut up about CrossFit. Over the weekend, police raided a Pennsylvania home where they discovered nearly $1 million worth of meth as well as Nazi paraphernalia. Police then arrested the homeowner, Walter White Supremacist. A Girl Scout troop in Virginia said that they will use drones to deliver cookies this year, and after that, to destroy the Keebler Elves once and for all. Florida man and Florida Governor Ron DeSantis suspended all municipal COVID-19 emergency orders in his state. He says you should be allowed to go out to dinner, attend a baseball game, or run over a protester with your car, because that is also an actual law in Florida. Attention pool owners, there's storms coming. You may also be paying more for chlorine as a result of a factory fire leading to a chlorine shortage. First, the price of wood increased up to 500%, and now chlorine. People building wooden swimming pools this summer will be in for quite the sticker shock. An elderly couple escaped a nursing home using Morse code. The two were finally detained hours later when they reached the end of the driveway. A pair of Colombian farmers are now Guinness World Record holders, hooray them, after they grew a massive mango weighing 9.36 pounds. The Colombian farmers attribute the abnormally large mango to their special fertilizer mix, consisting primarily of cocaine. The fossilized bones of a horse some 14,000 years old, were discovered in the backyard of a Las Vegas home. Experts agree the horse was the victim of an Ice Age mob hit. Sunday, the UK channel Sky History aired a documentary claiming Hitler took bull semen to increase his libido, liked women to urinate on him, and had an incestuous relationship with his niece. Now, I know I'm risking a slander lawsuit here, but I just have to say, Hitler was awful. And speaking of awful, that's all for Sketchworks Newsbreak. We'll be back next week, and we hope you are too. I'm Brian Troxell, and since it's May the 4th, may the force be with you. Georgia, see you on November